the day timings is something that I like to run through with all of our couples. It's not only really important for you and your guests, it's actually really essential for us as well as the venue to make sure that we get your on the day coordination right. So the first question is ceremony time. What time should your ceremony start? Now, this will obviously depend on what time you can book your registrars for. I always recommend booking your registrars as soon as you found your venue. I think it's really nice to start at around 2 p.m. because it gives you plenty of time to get ready and get to your venue, but it still makes for a 10-hour celebration together as newlyweds. If you're having a church wedding ceremony locally to your venue and then travelling to your venue, you'll just need to add in a bit of extra time to my timings. Um, I would say add in an extra hour at the beginning. This allows for a church ceremony being slightly longer than a civil service, and it also allows time for you and your guests to travel to the venue. Working off your ceremony starting at 2pm, you'll be walking back up the aisle together at about 2.30. At this point, we recommend that couples walk up the aisle and basically keep on going so you can spend a few minutes together. While you're off together having photos, your guests will be over here around the venue enjoying an arrival drink. If you've chosen canapes, we'll also start serving these now. For this part of the day, we'd suggest allowing about an hour and a half. It really depends on whether or not you're having canapes. It also depends on what time your ceremony was, because if it was earlier than two o'clock, then you can't guarantee that your guests had lunch beforehand. So you might want to just bring forward the, the food a little bit so that you're eating a little bit earlier. That takes us through to 4 p.m. to then sit down to eat your wedding breakfast. How long a wedding breakfast takes really depends on the menu that you've chosen, the number of courses that you're having and the number of guests. I work usually on two and a half hours for three courses. Um, if you're only having two courses, you could maybe take off half an hour. So that really takes us through to 6.30. Speeches and toasts actually really depends on who's talking and how long they talk for and whether they enjoy public speaking. But I, I usually suggest around 45 minutes. That should hopefully give you enough time, say 30 minutes for speeches, um, with a little bit of a buffer zone before your evening guests arrive for your party. You'll also need to then allow time for your DJ or band to set up, usually about an hour, an hour and a half for this. We typically recommend, if you can try and time it this way, that you kind of do the last of your official duties um, all at once, so finishing with your, your first dance. So if you want to throw your bouquet, then you would do that at this point, just before you do your first dance. And if you've got a cake and you want to do a kind of official cake cut with photos, then do that before the first dance. So if the first dance is at 8.30, then um, throw your bouquet and then cut your cake at around 8.15. We just find that doing all two or three of these official duties at once kind of makes it a bit easier because at this point your guests will be kind of inside, outside, talking, mingling. It's just easier to bring them all back together once. When it comes to evening food, we try and time this around your evening entertainment. A band typically plays a set for around an hour, so we would then time your evening food to have it in that break. So if they're starting at 8.30, then evening food served at 9.30. Each band is slightly different and each band would usually work with the couple to kind of design the format that works best for you and your guests. We're licensed until midnight. So that's when the music has to be switched off and that's when we have to stop selling alcohol. And we've then got an hour, so until 1am, for guests to drink up their drinks and um, organise taxis or head back over to our campsite. Yeah.